Hi, welcome to Click Geek, part 31 of this video series. In this session, we'll look at how height prefix and height suffix will work in Click View. And basically, these two are the global or standard variables uh, in Click View, and which will uh, sit in the back end part of the Click View where we will write the scripting part. So, both these variables are of type set. So, let's quickly navigate to click with desktop and then we'll see how these two uh, variables will work in real time so i'll be loading two tables for that we have to switch to the click view scripting console and then so go to table files mm. And the select the table we have a superstore. So I'm selecting here orders. This is one table, and the other table would be from the same file which has the returns. Okay, so now the order ID is a column in both the tables one is regarding orders and another one is high, uh, is returns so what i'll do is i'll just make them as key as so usually in the nomenclature so the keys are represented with percentile symbol the key fields will start with percentile symbol so it's your wish whatever you wish to keep in there so i'll put percentile order underscore key and I'll keep the same aliasing here in returns table as well. And give it a proper name. Take turns. Would be this second table. And the first table would be orders. And save this application. I'll be saving this as hide and then reload it. Let's control T. Let's go there. You can see here these are the key fields. So it's easy to identify if you follow the nomenclature. Uh, I mean, identifying the fields is a bit easier if you go follow the nomenclature. Right, so now here the order key is intact with the returns order key. And now if we go to the front end and if you wish to create any of the object, whether it is a list box or if it is a chart, so you can find the percentile orders key field in the front end where which is not required usually we won't use keys uh, in creating any types of charts there may be some exceptional cases most of the time we won't use so that's why in this case if you wish to hide this percentile order key so this field is starting with percentile symbol so if we follow the nomenclature properly so now you'll get the flexibility of hiding the key fields in the front end how can we do that so the variables will take care of it so you can put set hide prefix so, and what are the prefix here we are using percentile as a prefix for the field so the field name is starting with percentile symbol and add percentile here it means we are assigning and we are when percentile symbol to the height prefix so now reload it right now you can't see that here i mean uh, in this fields list so let's try with the chart go uh, see in there no percentile symbol is i mean the, the key is not available here let's go to the charts and then Look here, even field is not available. 
right? If you are aware of the field name, you can use that field in any of the expression. So let's go there. I want to count. So we put count of percentile orders. So you can use like this, but the field is directly not available in uh, any of the click view objects like a uh, list object and charts okay if you remember the field name you can use that so there and and, and this this height prefix and height suffix are also useful in the case of uh, hiding some unwanted fields in the uh, current selections okay so this is a hide uh, prefix let's see height suffix it's just opposite if any field is ending with uh, the special symbol or else any character you can put that suppose if i put a percentage symbol here after the so i need to change here it has hide suffix it will be s u f f i x and then reload it. same thing so you can't see the field orders underscore key and percentile and but the field is visible in the data model you can see that okay so this is how the height prefix and size height suffix will works in click view thanks for watching the video please subscribe